So as far as Linux and Scratch are concerned, um, well, if you've never built Linux from Scratch, I will take you through step by step. If you have built Linux from Scratch before, then you know, obviously you can skip through to the bits that um, you're more interested in. Um, but yeah, uh, the Linux from Scratch website, sorry, is www.linuxfromscratch.org. Um, unfortunately, it's still not got a secure site. Um, maybe that's uh, something to do with their funding. Um, but yeah, just to go to the Linux from Scratch site itself specifically, just click on this link here, or you can click on these links up here. Uh, there's a bit of a description about what Linux from Scratch is. So it's basically a, um, a, a Linux operating system that you build from scratch. So you, you obtain all the text sources and you compile it all up into the binaries to have a working system at the end. That's effectively what it is, although there's a little bit more to it than that, as you'll see. Um, you can download the book. Um, the book is what they call the, the manual or the instructions to build the system. So I'll be referring it to as a book, but it's, it is a book you can actually buy, actually. <laughs> but generally, it's just a set of instructions which tells you how to go through and build the system. So it's like a recipe that you can follow. Um, so I'll read online. And you can see there's various versions of it available. There's the stable version. There's a router with that stable version, which might be um, updates to the packages which they advise to install because of um, security issues, or there might be genuine um, bugs in the book. Um, so it's always worth looking in there. In fact, if I go in there now, well, you can see there's no no current items for. Linux from scratch 10, so there's nothing to worry about there. Stable LFS, that's the default main LFS book. There's a development which gets updated, I think, once a week. So that's bang up to date. It will have the latest software and so on. But there's a chance that if you build using that one, that you, you, the build may break for some reason, or you might end up with a system that's not working properly. There's also a system D version of uh, LFS for Linux from scratch again it's laid out in the same way um, because it's not the main one I still use that I don't really like system D either um, I know there's two camps of people that love and hate it a lot of the distros seem to be using it as well but um, to me it's you know, I don't know it seems a little bit a bit of a strange beast um, it seems to take away a lot of the um, information that you need when you're booting the system I know it's faster and so on, but um, yeah, not not quite got into it yet. So I'll be sticking with the stable version as that is the main um, main book as well. Obviously, if uh, Linux from scratch ever goes to System D as the main um, booting uh, way of booting, then I'll, I'll be defaulting to that one instead. But as the stable is uh, the SysV init is still the uh, default way, I'll be going through that.